In this example, we'll be creating a slider using jQuery UI. Now in my text editor, you can already see that I have an input for slide text and I have a div with an ID of slider. To create a slider, all we technically need is the div. So I'm going to create a jQuery selector for slider and specify slider. In my browser, I reload and you see I have one big slider. Because a div is a block level element, it will try to take up as much space as it can, just as any other block level element. However, because I am just dealing with a div, I don't have any value to set, unlike other jQuery UI elements that I can create. So therefore, with a slider, for it to be effective at all, we almost always have to have some additional form of parameters to pass into our slider method. The first we're going to set is an event handler for slide. Now this function is going to take two separate parameters. And inside our event function, what we want to do is take the value of the slider and pass it into our slide text. That way we can see that value. Since slide text is an input box, we use the dot value method. And inside we're going to put UI dot value. And this is just a quick and easy way to get the value of our slider. Reload our screen. And when we slide, you can see it adjust. Now by default, you'll notice that our slide goes from zero all the way up to 100. And it goes in increments of one. But we can change that just by adding and modifying a couple of small parameters. Switching back to our text editor and go after our slide event handler. Choose another property. This one's going to be min. And I'll set it to be 25. Max will be the maximum value. We can set our initial value. And we can set a step. A step says for every time we increment, how big will that number jump? So let's say for example 25. Go back to our browser and when we reload we notice our slide handle is now not the far end like it was originally. And I can click and drag and you see how it jumps to the given steps. You'll also notice our slide text as we move it is limited so it can't be less than 25 and it cannot be more than 250. Additionally, you'll notice that we're moving in increments of 25, just as we specified with step. With step, it can be any value greater than one, but it does have to be a whole number. And our minimum and maximum values must also be whole numbers. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up, with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.